The uh, seven and a half horsepower Baldor made into a rotoverter, and it's got the new inverter circuit on top with just four uh, 20 amp solid state relays, 480 volt DC rated. Uh, let's take a look at the timing disc in the back of it, get some details and measurements. Okay, the disc itself is uh, six inches wide which is the same as about 140, 150, three millimeters. Now the distance on the uh, little row of magnets here and here is uh, exactly centered from the uh, one magnet to the other magnet. That's what you see here on these two arrows. which is 45 millimeters from there to there and there's nine little magnets in here the distance between the magnets is about uh, space between is four millimeters the magnets themselves are a little over a millimeter wide and uh, five millimeters long and they're uh, in English they're one sixteenth wide by one quarter inch long little neodymiums and uh, between the Hall effect back here and the magnets is four millimeter space. That's pretty important too. Okay, so we got 45 millimeters the, uh, from center of the first magnet to the last. And then the space, the dead space in between is exactly what's on this tape going from here to that magnet so the dead space in between is from this arrow to this arrow and that is uh, 19.4 centimeters 194 millimeters which is the same as looking at it in English uh, seven and five eighths inches it's the dead space and looking at in English the on space of where the magnets are it is one and three quarter inches one and three quarter inches, seven and five eighths, one and three quarter inches, seven and five eighths. You need uh, this sort of pulse width to it uh, in order for it to run a second motor. You can do any pulse width you want really, but this was uh, what you need to uh, make a AC sort of circuit that will run a second motor. Here's the two cap banks still. There are 270 UF caps, 330 volts, uh, DC type. And there's seven of them in each cap. Uh, and now I only have one, two, and one, two, four relays. This is a discharge, this is a discharge, this is a disconnect, this is a disconnect. Same as before, but I'm not. Uh, doing the top and the bottom of the uh, caps anymore. I mean, the high and the low of the caps. Okay, let's trace the circuit now. Okay, let's start at the generator. This is a rotor with north-south, north-south, north-south magnets around it. Uh, and there's eight magnets, and so I also have eight coils. So everything's in phase and simple. Now, what I did on this is I start 
such as there's a green circuit and there's a purple circuit here. Every other coil is connected in series. So four coils are in series, every other one, and that corresponds to either the all the four uh, north magnets or the four south magnets. So let's say the north magnets lined up with these, so you're going to have kind of north coils here, north coils down here, and then you know and skip another north coils, and then the south will be in between. So I divided this generator up into two halves the north coils you could call them and the south coils so I, I first I run the coils in series like this it's totally in phase and then I jump over and do the next one do the next one so then I have two separate power outputs now and that's this wire and that's this wire completely separate you know they aren't connected so it's like two generators before I had a two full wave bridge rectifiers, but I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, all I have now is I, this red wire is one, one output lead of the coils, and that just goes straight to the capacitors, nothing in between. On the ground side of it, I have four 400 volt diodes all facing the same way and they're three amps a piece so this is like a 12 amp 400 volt diode and I just have a single diode that rectifies the current made in the coils and that fills up the cap so it's just a single diode and then also I have a single diode on the other side 